Brittany Bickleberry Teen here today with another episode of Ask Brit. Subscribe to Bricklover18 for more daily LEGO videos. Last week I did a YouTuber like question and answers and that seemed to go over really well. There were some lots of awesome YouTube comments and I th think I gave some really cool answers I guess. And a lot of people seem to like that video. But before we get started in this video there will be no theme for next week's episode of Ask Brick. But I do request now that you leave some Ask Brick down in the comments below because this week I was a little short on comments and I don't want to be short again next week. Let's get right off into the questions. Lego Carson asks, Ask Brick will you ever do stop motion videos? Well, someday I'd really like to do more stop motion videos. The problem with them is, I used to do them all the time, but they just take so long to produce, and they're just not as easy. And for me, they were never, like, my views were never as great for them as the time I put in them. And I know that you're supposed to make the content and then get your views, but the content took a lot of work to do, and it was very tedious and kind of frustrating to me sometimes. There were some cases where I do have stop motions, but I didn't finish them. So I just really wasn't enjoying it, so I figured, why bother doing it? YouTube's supposed to be fun, and if this is kind of frustrating me because it's a lot of work and I don't get a lot of views on them, I'm just not going to do them. And I know that seems like the quitter way, it doesn't seem right, but I'd rather focus on other things in my YouTube career or my YouTube videos than doing LEGO stop motion animations. There are lots of great channels that put lots of great time into those stop motion animations, so I suggest you watch them for their stop motion content and me for my other content. Welcome to this video by BrickLover18, please enjoy. So that's all the questions I will be answering on my YouTube channel this week. There was another one where it was, what is your favorite minifigure torso? But to be quite honest with you, I have no idea what my favorite minifigure torso is, so I, I don't know how to answer that question, but it's a good question, I just don't know what mine is. A Fall Man asks, do you find many LEGO deals in the stores up there in Canada? No. We never, ever can find decent deals. We can find some deals. But they're not even very good. Rant time. Okay, it drives me nuts a little because in the States you'll go and you'll see people, they find amazing LEGO deals. You know, $1 poly bags, $2 minifigures, you know, half price set, 70% off sets. Here in Canada, or my part of Canada, I shouldn't say all of Canada because I only live in Ontario and I've only ever been in a, into a second, two provinces of Canada. But in my area of Canada, good luck even finding Series 15 LEGO minifigures. Like, it's ridiculous. You'll get your, the, the United States will get a lot of times, we'll get their, you know, 2016 sets well into 2015, you know, you know, November, December. Here in Canada, my area, I'm lucky if I get the 2016 sets by summer of 2016. It is honestly ridiculous. We never can find any new sets. We can never, I can never find any special deals. A couple times I did find this Lego police station, you know, the one I've converted into a hospital. I found that for $60, which is half price, which is a pretty good deal. I found this Ninjago set. I'm going to try and put a picture on the screen. I found that for $50, which is 50 Canadian, so it's probably 40 something or 30 something even American. That was one of the best deals I think I've ever found because it was a decent set. Um, I found this brick for $20. Like, that was a great deal. $23, I think, for that brick with tax. Um, I'm trying to look around my leg room now. Did I find anything else at a better deal? You know, 90% of the time, I either have to pay full price or I have to use, like, my VIP points. Like, I use $70 in VIP points to buy my LEGO Ferris wheel. But other than that, we just don't get any good deals. Oh, I almost forgot. I did get uh, LEGO Friends, the mini poly bags one time, for $1.50. That was a crazy deal. 
but I don't ever get Lego deals here in Canada. Like, I have to go to the States. I have to go to the U.S. to just to find some Lego deals to part out on my Bricklink store. And I get there, you know, once, twice a year, now that the dollar's so bad, because every single one of your dollar is a dollar forty some, some most of the time, our dollar. So, the savings you might save, sometimes, to completely rule out, I might as well just buy the full price set. But other times, I think the Steamroller set, it, I bought it for $25.00. American and it still charges you know sixty dollars here in Canada so that was still a good deal and I sold the figures from that and made my money back so that's good but the Lego deals here in Canada are like nothing I think I went to my Walmart the other day and Brickin' It Up had a picture on his Facebook or his Instagram sorry and it was the Lego space shuttle set for sixty dollars and I'm like wow I went to my Walmart and it still was on sale it was on sale clearance for a hundred and twenty dollars that's not clearance. If people over in the States can get it for 60 even with the dollar, it should not be 120 in Canada. That is stupid. Rant over. No, we do not get any good deals up here in Canada. Michael Lee 18 where do you find LEGO deals here in Canada? You don't. Also, how do you check stock in stores like Walmart? My Walmart, like, honestly sucks. The online stock, I'll go on, it'll say it's in stock. I'll go in stores, it's not in stock. I'll ask in the back, oh yeah, they don't actually update our stock inventory a lot often, so it's often wrong. So we suggest you call the store first. But then when you call the store first and ask for a Lego nut set, they think you're crazy, like just come in and buy it for your kids or whatever, which still drives me nuts. And then I go in store and the Lego aisle's covered in mega blocks. So there's just no way of checking. Like you have to go every time for me anyway to check what they have in stock because it does change or they take it off the shelves and they move it or they do something stupid with it. The Brick Rookie asked, do you think Nexo Knight might become LEGO's next evergreen theme? I don't know, like a lot of people seem to really like the Nexo Knights line and personally I'm not really sure what they see in it, like it's just not a theme that I'm too interested in. I mean, to me it's like another Chima or Ninjago, like a set that they're gonna push and push and push and then... I guess kind of realize it's a fail, but I mean the part out values are really good and a lot of people seem to be buying all the Nexo Knights to list the figures on Bricklink and eBay, so I think I might be missing something, but I'm just not sure. I don't think it'll ever be LEGO's like main theme, if that's what you mean by Evergreen. I think the Creator line and the City and Star Wars and things themes like that will still be the big and I think Nexo Knight will be here for a few years and then like never ever heard of again. I mean I could completely be wrong and I you know, wrong all the time. But to me, I just don't see it becoming LEGO's main theme. BrickLover11 asked, if you could bring one theme back, what theme would it be? Definitely the theme, if I could bring back, would be the LEGO Studios line. The LEGO Studios line was a great line from 2001, and I really regret not being like old enough to be into LEGO in 2001, because I missed out on some pretty great sets, and now the price of them has, like, crazy quadrupled. I mean, I went to the Brick Fair Virginia and I knew that the Brick Show was going to be having a lot of these studio sets and I was really excited to you know get to pick some up and then I realized the smallest set they had was still not very big and it was $30 and I'm like well okay goodbye I guess studios isn't for me and I mean they're charging a fair price I just thought whoa I was hoping to get you know cheap studio set because you don't get cheap studio sets anymore and I'm still pretty thankful that Bubble Bricks from the 2015 Lego Secret Santa was able to get me the Lego studio set that I have on the screen now. I mean, that's an awesome set. It's the only studio set I ever have. Probably the only studio set I will have. And I have a lot of the studio minifigures, but this set is just awesome. And I think they should bring the studios line back. I think that'd be really cool. So thanks everybody so much for watching this episode of Ask Brick, which basically just turned into a rant about how sucky the Canadian stores are. I'm sorry if you didn't like that, and I'm sorry if I didn't really answer your question, a fall man. Thanks a lot for your question. It was really good and gave a great topic for this episode of Ask Brick, though. Thanks everybody so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know down below your Ask Brick questions for next week's episode. Have a great day. Lego Man A Fall Ass. Oh, no, he's not Lego Man A Fall anymore. 